Well, good afternoon, guys, and welcome to a most glorious, sunny, beautiful day in the heart of a bud. Um, it's it's just gorgeous. Um, this is my little getaway. Um, it's very private. It's out of the way of everywhere. You can only get here by motorbike. And it's something that I wanted. I wanted to be in isolation to a degree where I'm just surrounded by rice fields. So I'm upstairs in my bedroom, but it's also a beautiful place to sit and type. As you can see, I'll just show you, shall I? This is my view. Okay, this is basically the rice fields. You can see as far as the eye goes, right the way down there. Lucky guy, eh? Um, I've worked really hard to get to this point in life for 15 years, so I feel, you know, I deserve it. And I've worked really hard to get this place for the next few weeks to be here and um, work hard as well on my book diary of an accidental psychic part two did two stories this morning up till this afternoon now which i think is about three or four o'clock now so uh, that was great i i wanted to work on one story a day but i got so excited that i finished one story um, and then went straight to another so what am i having now okay i'm having fresh ginger there fresh ginger that's it fresh ginger uh, and that's not just it, it's everything. Fresh ginger is amazing. How it cleanses and clears the body. And I uh, got this from the yoga barn. Uh, if you've ever heard of the yoga barn, there's just before you go up to the, the main part where you eat, there's a little juice bar. And they freshly juice these and inside this one it's cold pressed, it's all organic. And in this one is, uh, let's have a look. Well, you can see first of all, there's turmeric in there. Uh, turmeric and I don't know uh, let's have a look I'm not sure but there's a yeah there's turmeric in there that's for sure <laughs> so cheers guys it's a lovely day and um, we're going to talk about um, the heartache oil and also we're going to talk about how to heal from heartache today which um is something that we all kind of have been through. We've all had that heartache. If you haven't, good luck to you. Well done you. <laughs> it seems to be very much part of the journey of life, guys. So today, um, where do we start with heartache and heartbreak and heart pain, all the suffering that comes from the most sensitive part on the, the human physical body, which is connected to the spiritual core which is indeed the most sensitive thing which most empaths suffer with from day to day. And there lies a, a real uh, dilemma, live and work in the heart. By living and working in the heart, you also have to be strong in the heart too. And that's where it becomes a little challenging for many of us, especially when we're doing the work. And especially if you're going through such traumatic, um, painful, emotional stress, which is exactly coming or directing from the heart, that's where you feel it most of all. Especially with heartbreak or losing somebody, i.e. grief, that really is a challenge for the heart. One of the things that I uh, made was um, the last oil, which a lot of you already know. It's called Healing Heartache Oil. And a lot of people have been asking, um, can you show me other methods? I want to say that I made this oil specifically for you to rub it onto your heart and let the oil do its work. I know I'm getting a lot of you saying that it's working, but there's a few of you wanting to know if you're doing things right and wrong. There is no right and wrong. The whole point about my oils is that you use your intuition and your own inner guidance uh, to where you feel you need to use it. Heartache oil is quite simple. You rub it on your heart, it's nice and easy. The other oils may be slightly different that you have to attune to and figure where you'd like to use it. However, the heartache oil is also fantastic to put onto crystals. And today, uh, I'm gonna talk about um, this particular crystal in the coming few days. It's uh, an amazing crystal. It's called Vera Cruz. It's a type of amethyst. It's a gorgeous crystal. So today to heal from heartache or grief or feeling just sorry for yourself, feeling down, just put three little drops 
onto your hand and then take your crystal, any crystal that you want, but these are really particularly amazing at the moment. So I'm working with this and I would rub on. Oh, amazing. And then when you've given that a good rub, you want to take that very oil that's in your hand and rub it directly onto your chest. Rub it round and round and just let that work be done. Now, the crystal in hand, you can either hold that and meditate with it, or you can wear it around your neck and just let the work be done. Now, the reason why that is, is because you've also got the added energy and memory from the heartache oil that is now being penetrated into the crystal itself. So now it's retaining its own memory and energy from the oil, and it seems to be working amazing at the moment. One of the things that I want to talk about today is how do we actually get over these physical and emotional pains because the emotional then causes the physical. It does take time guys, there's no doubt about it. However, I think the first and foremost thing we need to do is direct our attention away from the suffering and from the what ifs and why it's happened whether you've lost somebody to the spirit world or whether you've um, had to split up from a partner. There has to come a point where you say enough is enough. I've, I've, I've grieved enough. I've gone through this pain of trying to understand it and make sense of it. And I think we all have to go through that cycle. And then what I, I noticed is once you're over that cycle, you can then start focusing on what's really important, which is you. And if you're always in the memory of the what ifs and whys, you're never really truly on your spiritual path of um, not only enlightenment, but actually moving forward, growing, and um, really understanding what everything was about. So you can stay in that low energy of feeling bad all the time for yourself. And, and thinking that there's something wrong with you and blaming or blaming them or hating them or hating yourself. Or you can simply put it to a side and say, you know what, I've done enough pain energy on this. I've done enough focused emotional tragedy feelings and, and hurt in this. And I think it's now it's time to move on. And I think the quicker we, we move on, the, the faster we actually get to where we need to be. And you know, when all's said and done, this is part of the journey. Nobody's exempt to feeling a pain. Everybody, even me, even though I know that it's a much quicker to me to move forward in life now and things don't hurt as much, you still have to go through it. And like the Buddha says, and like I always say to you now, guys, Pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. And we keep repeating that. So it's up to us to move forward. And that's what I hope you do today. And that is the reason why I made this oil. I made this oil not only through my own experience and how to heal from all of those things, but I also gave this oil to my ex-partner who also has healed through our experience of being together for 20 years. So you've had an added energy within the heart ache oil, which now will heal you from those pains without even trying to make an effort because in the memory in this oil, the memory has so much of how two people have healed and also my clients through all of the time that I've been working at the Pure Energy Healing Academy of clients who have come in through heart ache, through pain and suffering, and then to get up and go out and feel much better, more healed, and, and then telling me that I'm a different person, that energy that healed them went into the heartache oil and all the crystals in the heartache oil. So it is an amazing oil. Lots of people are now saying it, so thank you. I knew it would be, and um, I'm not gonna go too, too um, personal, but a friend of mine who I care for very much just sent me a message two days ago and said 
this is really really helping her beyond her wildest dreams she feels stronger she's moving forward now and she was in a relationship also for 20 years she is now healing and growing stronger she just went through another um, relationship with somebody who was slightly um, abusive and that's finished and now she's stronger within a few weeks so it does definitely work so I guess the moral of today's uh, message is I think we have to come to a point after feeling the pain that we go through and to be able to say enough is enough and now it's time to focus on our journey our life if we're always focused on other people's journeys if we're always focused on the sad and the, the worry and the fear and the what ifs and the whys there's never there's no room to move forward there's no room to let anything else into your beautiful life magic can't come in when your cup's full of fear and worry it's it's over brimming it's it's flowing over full of sadness all the time that's your mind it's worrying constantly nothing can get in there because all you're ever doing is worrying about everything that really you're worrying about nothing it's gone it's finished if two people are meant to be together they'll they'll be they'll be together if not then it is what it is and that's when we have to accept and move on but not kill it by saying oh i i'm gonna cut this off and not think about it i hate it and no that that's not moving forward moving forward is an acceptance of what you've been through and one of the tricks i like to use is look at my life and see all the wonderful learning experiences all the challenges that i conquered all the pains and suffered that i experienced and really embrace them and say thank you for those experiences now, if you're able to do that, and I mean genuinely do it, not not just say it, but really mean that because you are genuinely thankful for how you experience those things and have grown from them. Once you've done that, you really then take on a new lease of life. You really, really then conquer and you become stronger than ever. And as a matter of fact, after that, thereafter, you don't feel the same kind of pain anymore and it's almost like you're not throwing curveballs to hit you anymore by the spirit world just to see if you still if you really are that strong because you you tend to then have this new understanding of life that you you don't own anything you don't own your home you don't own anything you know what i'm saying whoever you're with you don't own them you can never own them we just kind of borrow everything for the time we're here. So we should enjoy every moment because you just never know what's gonna happen. So if you're going through heartache and you're ready now to move on, maybe, just maybe a good foundation for you to move forward in this world is to not expect or want or feel that you own the next person who comes in your life. You just allow them to be you be yourself and just walk together on the path for the time that you're meant to be and appreciate each other without that thought or feeling that you need to hold on to it and you have to have it because that my dear friends is an illusion and you can never hold on to anything because if something's meant to be in your life surely it will or it won't but that's the whole point so that's it really guys i hope you're having a lovely day today and um, thank you so much for buying your oils off mattbyeski.com all eight oils thank you for loving them and working with them and thank you for your messages daily of how they're making a difference in your life it means the world to me and as well as all your crystals your genuine moldavites and all the other crystals that are on that website thank you i've loved working with them and i hope you feel the healing energy from them too because boy do they make a difference have a great day guys from my heart to yours from a beautiful abode rice field take care of yourself and speak to you tomorrow bye guys